Hello everyone, my name is Josh Beck and I'm an undergraduate student studying mechanical engineering at Bradley University. My name is Jake Wold and I'm also an undergraduate mechanical engineering student at Bradley. Today we will be talking about our literature review on the prediction of nanofluid thermal conductivity. The focus of this paper was the investigation of existing models for nanofluid thermal conductivity. The models considered in this paper included both effective medium theory and Brownian motion models. The primary factors that each model type considered were analyzed, and the models were also compared with existing experimental data in order to compare the accuracy of each of the models, as well as observe trends within each model and overall. The first model type considered was effective medium theory, or EMT models. EMT models primarily look at the concentration of nanoparticles as the driving force behind thermal conductivity enhancement. In other words, these models all predict the thermal conductivity as the base fluid thermal conductivity multiplied by a function of the nanoparticle thermal conductivity and its concentration. The next two slides go over the specific EMT models analyzed. Within these models, as shown on the right, K represents the thermal conductivity with the subscript NF denoting the nanofluid mixture, BF the base fluid, and P the particles. The Greek letter phi represents the volume concentration of the particle relative to the volume of the nanofluid. Maxwell developed the earliest EMT model. It assumes that particle interactions with the base fluid molecules have negligible effects and that the particles are spherical and evenly distributed in the fluid. The Hamilton and Crosser model is very similar to the Maxwell model but uses a shape factor, which is denoted by n, to more accurately predict the effects of different particle shape. This shape factor is 3 for spherical particles and 6 for cylindrical particles. In the results, a shape factor of 6 was assumed, as the data looked at did not specify particle shape, and if spherical particles were assumed, the model would have been redundant with the Maxwell model. Timofeeva et alia was able to create a simpler model by representing the particle thermal conductivity as infinite relative to the base fluid conductivity. This model was developed based on the effects of Al2O3 particles. Sundar et alia based their model on the Timofeeva et alia model, but with Fe3O4 particles, so the general structure of the equation is identical, but has updated coefficients. Jeffrey's model makes the least assumptions of the EMT models investigated with a model that incorporates the particle interactions. This model was originally an infinite series, but it was truncated after the terms here uh, to make comparison with experimental data easier. The remaining terms were deemed negligible due to the small coefficients. The figure here on the right shows the Maxwell, Jeffrey, and Tima FIBA models compared with experimental data for Al2O3 nanoparticles for thermal conductivity versus temperature. This data lines up with the first data set in the table on the left. As can be seen, all three models made a similar estimation for this data set, with relatively low average errors of about 1.5% for each. Similarly to the other experimental data analyzed, the thermal conductivity is overestimated at low temperatures, but underestimated at high temperatures. This suggests that the effects of the nanoparticle relating to temperature were underestimated, as the slope of the models was much less than the slope of the experimental data. As shown in the table, no one model performed better than the rest overall, with different models having the lowest error for different data sets. The team of FIBA model was expected to perform worse with Fe3O4 particles since it was developed using Al2O3, but it performed well with the Fe3O4 data analyzed. As the name suggests, Brownian motion models look at the random motion of the particles as a driving factor in thermal conductivity enhancement. The EMT models all assume particle motion has a negligible effect, so the Brownian models remove the need for this assumption. The Brownian models still consider the parameters taken into account by the EMT models. Additionally, they focus more on temperature, since increasing temperature increases particle motion and other fluid properties, which will be seen in the model's equations. Here, much of the same parameter nomenclature applies, but there are also new variables to consider. Re is the Reynolds number of the fluid, which is a function of velocity, density, and viscosity. Pr is the Prandtl number, which is a fluid property dependent on temperature. And T represents the temperature of the nanofluid, with the subscript Fr meaning freezing temperature. Additionally, D is the diameter, rho is the density, and C represents the specific heat. 
Porcion's model was developed using a wide range of nanoparticles with differing sizes and an ethylene glycol water mixture. The correlation was created from regression analysis on the data observed. Chone et Alia's model was developed similarly using regression analysis in the Buckingham Pi theorem, but was based on data for AL203 particles. Patel et Alia's model focused more heavily on the effects of change in particle diameter than the other models. The model was developed based on the understanding that decreasing the particle diameter generally increased the thermal conductivity of the nanofluid, most likely because of an increase in the ratio of surface area to volume. The data used for the regression consisted of multiple particle and base fluid types. The Kuhn and Klein Schurer model was developed to consider the effects of Brownian motion of the nanoparticles on the motion of the base fluid. The first term of their model is the same as the Maxwell model which represents the static component of the nanoparticle effects. The second term represents the dynamic effects, which considered an increase in thermal conductivity due to micromixing of the base fluid and nanoparticles. In this model, beta and f of t and phi are functions of temperature and volume fraction. The equations used for them here are for AL203 particles and would change for other particle types. The figure here shows the Corsione, Patel et Alia, and Ku and Kleinstra models compared with experimental data for AL203 nanoparticles for thermal conductivity as a function of temperature. Again, the errors for these models are given in the first data set on the left. Since the Corsione model underestimated the thermal conductivity at both room temperature and high temperatures, the error was higher, but all three models shown predicted the change in thermal conductivity with temperature fairly well, especially compared to the EMT models. All of the Brownian models performed best when investigating large particles and got less accurate with smaller diameters. Patel's model consistently had lower errors than the other models looked at. The Ku and Kleinstruer model also performed better than the Corsion and Chone et Alia models at large diameters, but the difference in errors was found to be less significant for smaller particles. Three other types of nanofluid thermal conductivity models were investigated, but there was not enough data in existing literature to draw conclusions from without making large assumptions. Aggregation models were considered, which look at the effect of nanoparticles clumping to form aggregates, but there was little data given in experimental papers on aggregate size and whether clumping affected the thermal conductivity of the particles. Nanolayer models were also considered, which take into account the effect of base fluid molecules forming thin nanolayers but there was little experimental data on the thickness of the nanolayers formed, as well as their thermal conductivity. Finally, molecular dynamics simulations were investigated, which are computationally intensive computer simulations of the entire nanofluid system, but much more data is necessary to use these models. It requires many of the nanolayer properties, as well as needing information on equivalent matrix thickness and thermal resistance, which were not given in experimental papers read. Of the models looked at, none were able to successfully predict all of the data sets used, and the error for each model varied significantly. The EMT models all became less accurate as diameter decreased. This makes sense because as diameter decreases, the total surface area increases for a given volume concentration, an effect which was not captured in the models. As mentioned earlier, they tended to overestimate the thermal conductivity enhancement at lower temperatures and underestimate it at higher temperatures. In contrast, the Brownian models predicted the temperature effects much better. These models still got less accurate as the diameter decreased, which was not expected since most of the Brownian models did include a particle diameter term. Of all of the models treated, Patel's model was the most accurate on average by a large margin, with roughly 50% less error than the other models against the most experimental data sets observed. The references used are listed here. Thank you for listening.